Bom dia, good afternoon, good evening guys. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Dayutu. Yes, I am the guy that with his family four years ago went all into Bitcoin after selling his house, his companies, his cars, his bikes, everything into Bitcoin and then we start traveling the world. Now, four years later guys, we are still traveling the world, coming to you guys from Lagos in Portugal. Today I will have a short video because I will talk a little bit about a really cool chart I found on Twitter. Then I will jump into the charts with Lisa and Sean from Hard Forking. And there will also be some really cool chats about life and blockchain inside that part. And then I will end the video with some really cool blockchain news. And that will be all for today. And um, we had a really busy weekend as I did a really cool live show um, on Instagram, one on Twitter, and yesterday and Sunday with Gokstein Media again with David and Ross really cool show but I did a lot of stuff this weekend so not driving to a really cool place today I will keep it short when it comes to my time spam the video will still be 25 minutes like you're used but I am not going to invest too much time today in driving to a beautiful location but I will do that again as soon as possible enjoy today's video guys into again this group of cows or bulls I really don't know what it is I'm I, I always I'm careful with animals so I will walk through but if there is a cow or a bull attacking me from behind please let me know what about the family the family is doing okay we found a house that is perfect we will be able to show you the house from Wednesday evening on so it probably will be on the video on Thursday on this video I will show you uh, my crib you know our Bitcoin crib for the next couple of months here in Lagos the base where we are going to explore this whole beautiful country Portugal with you together in these videos guys yes I'm going to search for Bitcoin adoption yes I'm going to search for companies that accept Bitcoin yes I'm going to talk to other Bitcoin people that have a really cool opinion about Bitcoin really cool I'm just in the middle of calves bulls really nice check it so everything is just on schedule the tour is taking a little bit longer and we also have something really cool upcoming and um, I'm talking to another media company and we are going to create some really cool media together but it will take some time to get that all organized but I will keep you up to date in today's video of course also a QR code I really found feel myself a little bit strange between all these animals a QR code and if you claim the if you scan the QR code you can claim the family tokens and when you claim the family tokens guys you're the proud owner of a family yesterday the first t-shirt was bought with family tokens thanks I think the name was Jeroen for buying a t-shirt with family tokens because we need to get this whole family token industry up and running that was the first thing somebody bought with a family token really cool so start to collect your family tokens and start to spend your family tokens you can just get them for free by watching our videos I create these treasure hunts and these treasure hunts you find the QR code you scan the QR code and again you have some more family tokens so it's just a rewarding system to reward you guys for what you have been doing following uh, sharing subscribing and all that stuff so let's make it fun and let's spend those tokens as well so we can create a small micro economy of rewarding receiving rewarding receiving all made possible by the tri roll system really cool so that was the family part let's jump into the Bitcoin part guys this one BAM in this Bitcoin part I'm going to talk about some charts I'm going to talk myself about one chart because I found it on Twitter I find it really interesting to share this chart today and after that I will add the video of Sean, Lisa and me talking about Bitcoin, Ethereum and many other cryptos as well also discussing some really cool live stuff so make sure you don't skip that part maybe the QR code is in that part so make sure you watch that part as well um, we are walking in the middle of all these cows or bulls I don't know maybe cows maybe bulls I don't know what it is <laughs> leave a comment below if you recognize it if you see it's a cow or a bull guys 
It is not looking uh, nice at me. I think it wants to attack me. Uh, that is definitely a bull. It has a huge sack of bulls. That's not a cow, guys. That's a bull. So let's take a look at the first chart. This one. Bam! This is the hash ribbon chart. I already shared this hash ribbon chart many times before with you guys. On this chart, you can now see that there is a miners capitulation coming up. The last time the miners capitulated like this, Bitcoin went sideways for 60 days, which made it possible for the altcoins to do their run. So we are seeing the same thing happening now. We are seeing this hash ribbon crossing downwards, which would indicate we will have a minor capitulation. There's a lot of cows, so there's not a lot of flies here, <laughs> and a lot of shit on the floor, so I need to watch where I'm walking. And when we see this minor capitulation, then Bitcoin can go sideways again if history is repeating, which would mean that history repeats 60 days sideways, and then our, in those 60 days, the altcoins, bam, can fly up again. This is what many people are expecting and what we can expect of the market now. Yes, I'm always looking like this and like this because I really don't feel completely safe between all these bulls. And don't give me shit that that is not a bull because this is the guy here. This is a bull. That one there, that's a cow. The cow has these things where the milk comes out. He, he has a, like a sack of bulls, like steel bulls. He's an all-in bull. This bull is showing the cows that we are going to run up in the next couple of months. The bull run. I'm risking my life walking between bulls. But I'm doing it to show Bitcoin the way up. Up. The bull always... That's... By the way, that's why they call the bull uh, a bull run. Uh, bulls and bears. For the ones that don't know, bull means the bull is always attacking from downwards upwards. So we're going up. The bear is attacking from upwards downwards so we're going down so that's why we call it the bears and the bulls the bulls attack upwards beautiful prize upwards and the bears bam smash it down so that's why we call it bear and bull time the rest of the charting i will leave over to sean and lisa from hardfucking.com so let's jump into those charts with lisa and sean bam lisa bitcoin up or down bit of both <laughs> that's it yeah okay shows. see you next week everyone <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some sideways too. Yeah. I've heard, I've heard, I've heard sideways is good. Yeah, we can, we can we can make it very easy, Sean. If we zoom out a lot, it's always going up. Very true. Is it? Well, some big miles. How, how, how much do you have to zoom out to for it to be always going up, DD? Closed above thirteen thousand you, you, for the first time since two thousand seventeen. If you zoom out to a four-year chart. <laughs> so it's just like a straight line. <laughs> yeah, it's like just straight line. <laughs> you do a month chart, Didi. Is it? Yeah, is I know. Is it no, the beginning? If, if you do a year run. chart, if you do a can year you do a year chart? chart? Yeah, then you see really cool. You have like uh, three greens, then you get one red, then you get three greens, one red, three greens. Every time again, I, I'm I'm talking oh, about really? this kind of charts today. Yeah, it's really nice. That's like, I think it's the most cool chart to look at because then you see the system that we are now just creating the third green candle if we would yeah. repeat history. Because you, and like, we, if I, I'll share the screen. If I go onto the BLX, which is the, um, yeah, I know what Brave Coin Liquid Index for Bitcoin. Yeah. We, this is the month, this is as far as it goes up on my, I could probably add, I think. Um, yeah, you can add. If you, yeah. if you, because you are, have a professional account, so... Yeah, I think I can add, like, a year at, yeah. somehow. I'll have to work it out. But um, yeah, just If you just click on the month sign, I think, and then down in the bottom somewhere, you can add something. Uh, there. Oh, and yeah, add. add. And you change minutes and years, for example. So one... No, it won't go. It's only yeah, you months. Can... So if I go 12 months, maybe. Ah. Right. Yeah. Does it do that? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. And then if you click, this is really cool. Check what you see now. If you zoom out. Oh, yeah. A bit more, yeah. Then you can that is see. a really cool chart, actually. We're at, like, if I'm looking at this chart, we are at resistance. Look at yeah. that. And if you look a little bit more to the left, you can see mm. that we had three green candles, then a red candle, again, three green candles. And now again, we are a red candle. And now we are building the third green candle. Yeah. Next year will be the third green candle. 
Well, if we look at this, no, but if we look at this, this is actually more epic than anything that, like, this is the first time I've looked at this chart and I'm just going to show you something here. This is, like, the most epic, like, bull chart ever. If we look at this chart how it is, this is a one wave. This is a two wave and we're in a fourth wave. So if we're looking at a a 12 monthly chart, like a yearly chart, this is a fourth wave. We're about to go into this massive big wave. Yeah, the the green candle you see next to the red one, that one will be the next one. This is actually so awesome because it actually like, oh my God, this is like mind blowing. So this, I've got a, a system of doing fib. So this is our wave one. If this is our wave one, um, we go to the two, three, six. So then we've got this uh, third wave, which we've had, uh, you know, an extended wave and it's gone to two, six, one, eight, which is like amazingly massive. So our next wave is here which is in line with what I've been saying. Like this is 27,000, but I've been saying 26,000. I've been saying 28,000 with FOMO. This just like, this is like, oh, this is, this is actually so awesome. It's not funny. Cool. So, yeah. I like, I like just that you also see the cycle, you know, you just see that. We, yeah. We you can, you can Bitcoin. see the cycle. It's so clear on here and like, yeah. Simplified version of the chart already a long time on my screen because I, I was like, wow, three greens, one bearish year, three bullish year with the acceleration of the bull run again, this yeah. bearish year. And then, this, and then I was comparing the size of the candles. I'm like, wow, this is all adding up. Like the red one is like one yeah. third of the green one of the green one. This one again is the health of this red one. This one was also the health of the red one. This one again is going uh, to the resistance area. This one is again going to resistance yeah. area. And I'm like, this one is going to follow, you know. It's, it's a logical Yeah, dispute. so as, as far as I can see on the chart that I just showed you, like um, I'll go back to sharing that chart. Obviously, I've been saying that shorters are going to get liquidated. Clearly, they are right now. We're due um, quite a big drop, I would think, as Didi was saying as well. So I think we've touched this um, this line that I had as um, a target. So we literally touched it and have dropped. Um, I think we'll go a little bit more sideways in this region And then we're going to come up for 14,600. At 14,600, I think we're going to come down and retest these MAs. So these MAs are sitting, um, this bottom MA is 11,800, which is in line with that awesome chart that I just showed you. So, you know, that's that's kind of what that uh, support level is sitting at on that uh, 12 month chart. And um, the resistance level is sitting at 14,600 on that 12 month chart, which is kind of ironic that they're my targets and I've never seen that chart before. And I'm like, I'm very proud now. (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah, so I really think we have one more wave up before we we have a, a drop down. So, and I think that there's, there's going to be a lot of support in this region. So um, have your orders ready, have them waiting there. So, don't be in margin trades, have them in spot. So in case it just continues straight through and slices straight through your orders, you can pick it up. We appreciate that greatly. So yeah, so this is ETH. And um, as I said, we would possibly come down and retest the MAs and we've done that. Um, We've had a bounce. I think we're going to come down and retest this support. Um, So one more wave down. So that's about 376-ish. And then we should continue up to the 444. So, yeah, that's pretty easy are trade you, as always. You trade you, you ETH on, on Primator? Are you pr- primarily? I don't. I should. I should. Because I, I always nail this chart. I could, like, I should just trade ETH. I'm doubling the like, stack on you on Prime, Lisa. So, trade- oh, the pressure. The pressure. Get on. You've done well. You're doing really well. I am doing really well on Prime, so I've, I've clawed it back. I've climbed it up. I was like, 
Yeah. <laughs> Total crypto market cap this week had this epic spike. So which um, this is this 100, 100 million um well this is a hundred billion that actually went in but we had like yeah this epic spike come in so we we've, we've gone from we were sitting around the sort of the 393 and we've like pumped up to 607 billion so that's a lot of volume coming in but as soon as that volume went in it came out again so we're just above ha- halfway so right. we're at 400 billion um our halfway point is 381 billion and we're sitting above that and we've been sitting above this point uh, for just probably just over a week or two, mm. um, which is a good good part to be. So we could come down, retest this support again. I'm hoping we continue higher that um, this was a resistance test to see like how much money and how easily it is to move this market. Yeah. Um, yeah, so at this point as well, this this is uh, they haven't cleaned up any of these charts, which is impressive for a change. So um, at the point that we saw this test here on the total market cap, so obviously this total market cap money went into a lot of alts. So and we can see that the dominance like massively dropped. So, and, and that's how we correlate that. So where, as to where the money's going. So, you know, we had this massive percentage drop. So Bitcoin went down to 43 um, and the total market cap went up. So, which means that the total market cap, that money went all into alts and a lot of the alts were pumping. I don't, I can't even remember which ones were doing. Maybe it was I deep by some. Yeah, I mean, there's only, only been a, there's yeah. only been a handful of alts in the top hundred that went up. I mean, obviously the, uh, the hex, the hex crowd are pumping the air at the moment. Yeah. We're so I, I don't exactly know where all of this money went. Um, no, I mean, there's only literally like Celsius and two or three others in the, in the top 100. Yeah. So it, it must have gone into some lower like well, and Kasama actually with the one you follow closely had a, had a yeah great... Kasama had a lot of like money come in but then I had, I had a lot of money come out <laughs> right okay <laughs> so we've got link um trading it's similar to uh what BSV is trading in a channel so we we'll, might come down and retest on this 10.7 mark before continuing higher so you know, looking looking at the S and P and all of those charts, I, I really think we're going to see a strong bounce in Bitcoin over the next couple of days, especially on open. We should see, um, you know, we might even see that fourteen thousand six hundred with that drop. So, um, is Litecoin it, also looking uh, okay, Lisa? Yeah, or? Litecoin's looking really good at the moment. Litecoin, uh, we've come down. We've got this uh, previous resistance. We've broken through. We're holding above that. We did drop down into it but we're still holding above it now so um, we've got back above so same as what I was saying last week uh, Litecoin looks really good to continue up so Litecoin is on the support so I, I really think you know watch Litecoin today because if it starts moving Bitcoin's going to follow closely after that's always what happens there was all the beautiful parts and charts by Lisa and Sean I hope you really enjoyed the discussions we had and enjoyed the knowledge Lisa is sharing with charting and um, let's take it to the last part of the video the blockchain slash news part while I am walking up to this bull again he is not looking really happy so I will watch out a little bit but let's take it to this blockchain slash news part now guys I want to talk about one subject in that part Bam. I will keep quiet now. Do you see his eyes? He's like, he's like, look, look. He's look. He's really looking at me like, why the fuck are you filming me? If you film me, I'm going to attack you. I'm going to attack you. I'm going to attack you like a bull. How is it possible? The bull has small horns and the cow has the big horns. But this definitely is a bull, guys. And I know you want the proof. I know you want me to zoom in onto his ball sack to show you that it is a bull. Yeah, but I'm just afraid to get close to him. <laughs> I'm not like uh, big animals always like, is it safe or not? I will try to capture the picture so you, you have the proof. I just met a bull while making this video. Are you just zooming in on the sack of balls of a bull? Yes. 
see it. He just got the shame, then he just walked away into the bushes. Maybe he's like, I don't have these big balls. I don't want to be in your video, did he? Okay, I will leave the animal alone. This is going to be a strange video. But we were just entering this blockchain part. We already entered the blockchain part. Yeah, we already did the ban part. So now we are in the blockchain part. I only want to talk about one very short thing in this part. The short thing I want to talk to you guys about is that I just read an article that the European Central Bank is now asking the European citizens if they want to have a digital euro. And yes, if they do want to have a digital euro, then they want to know what kind of digital euro should it be. Should it be a digital euro like the physical cash we have at the moment that is um, controlled and organized and centralized by the banking system? Or do we want a digital euro that looks like the Bitcoin system built on the blockchain, which is decentralized? I think whenever the, whatever the bank and the European Union is doing, it will always be a little bit centralized, of course. But they are talking about the technology, how this new central bank's digital euro should look like. Um, probably they will choose for the traditional banking system, which will be the biggest mistake ever, because I think they really should choose for the Bitcoin system, even if they want to keep it centralized. They can do this by reforming all the banks in Europe into notes, you know, and then all these bank buildings with all these old fashioned safes and all that stuff that is empty because nobody is storing gold anymore there or, or cash. Um, they can use that as uh, mining uh, rooms and then they create this banking system with nodes and miners that is very centralized but that is working the same as the blockchain um, technology that we are using with bitcoin and many other cryptocurrencies so that would be my direction if, I, if it was up to me but let's see what they will do but i'm very much looking forward to the result of what the european people are saying about this subject are they going to choose yes we want the central bank's digital euro or are they going to say no we want to keep the cash alive so let's please keep cash alive i don't think if the people would choose for the cash version that the government would listen because the plan is already rolled out we are going to see a cashless society in the next couple of years this plan is already ready and we will be living in a world without cash and then we will be completely dependent on a central bank's digital currency created by the same governments and banks you know that didn't do really good that's why we see all these uh, <laughs> crises and crashes so again for me now is the moment to educate people to step into bitcoin and all these other cryptocurrencies because now you still can if the world goes cashless and all your money is on a central bank's cryptocurrency, a digital euro, a digital yuan, or a digital dollar. If we have that situation, then the only option for you would be buying Bitcoin through those accounts. And who is now guaranteeing you that in a couple of years they will allow you to buy Bitcoins through those very centralized accounts? I am afraid, I don't think that is going to happen. So in my opinion, now is still the best opportunity for you guys to step into a really cool industry that is about to enter a really cool bull run. That was all the information for today's guys. I hope you really enjoyed the show. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and always remember to zoom out in crypto and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life is about. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again. But now from a very beautiful part somewhere else in Portugal, not near my apartment, but where there's a beautiful cliff, a beautiful beach that I want to try to discover if I can reach that beach. If it is not raining tomorrow, because it looks like we will see a rainy day or two in the next couple of days. Thanks for watching guys and see you tomorrow again. Bye.